So I've, I've tweeted a link to a, a video from a, a conference about a temp radio studio that was part of an architecture online event during lockdown. Um, you'll find it Lon- London Stroke Hatfield W. Pollard because uh, it was supposed to be in London and Hatfield ended up just be- just being online and amps if you if you haven't got Twitter or X um, just put those words into YouTube London Hatfield W. Pollard and um, amps A M P S architecture media politics and society or some, something like that um, but ar- architecture is the, the starting point of all of that and you'll see there um, a, a, a graphic of Peggy, Peggy Dima and we design scenarios which is the main, the main point that's, that's what she's um, talking about as ar- architecture setting up cities as sets might, might doesn't have to be a city but that's where i th- i think most of this is is likely to happen or or a campus the 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 main thing i think is that the the buildings have a symbolic meaning they're a set they they indicate something depending on where you are and later on during the wild show um, if, as long as it's not raining, uh, JD and myself are going to go on a walk in central Exeter, um, probably as far as the Innovation Hub, which is over where the tourist information used to be, and then find our way back again, taking in some climate locations. And we'll, 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 we'll explore this a bit. Um, I'll I'll try this thing out every so often. The o- the other thing to to point out is on YouTube you can search on the hashtag one five m at the m in lowercase, uh, steam in uppercase, and village uh, because the um, steam. Is an idea. If you've, you you may have heard of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and maths. The arts bit is the A dropped into it, and that was promoted at BET mm, three years ago, may, something like that. I, I'm getting very vague as to as to time and dates, um, but there was a STEAM village as part of BET, the the education trade show in in London. Uh, which John and Chris and myself went to, and Chris actually met the met the Dalek. The, B, the BBC supported the Steam Village, and uh, there was a there was a Dalek there at one one year, um, but it hasn't continued for some reason. A lot of people just um, just promote STEM as as such, and the the A bit is quite often missing. Anyway, it, as a hashtag, it does work in YouTube. So it's coming up with two results. Uh, well, it's saying that it's looked for just 15M Steam Village. It didn't, it didn't include the hashtag necessarily. But the hashtag is in there as well, I think. So you get two results. Route from Phonic F- FM to Innovation Hub and back hash 15m steam village so the hashtag is in the title and that is two minutes well th- almost three minutes and that's putting several shorts together whereas the other one is a playlist 15 minute steam village and the tags don't show up in that title um, and there are now 58 videos in that playlist so this is this has come about because um a lot of my normal videos don't get many views at all. Clips from this show, for example, me just raving on with the Phonic FM logo or Phonic DOB logo. Very low levels of, of, of um, interest. But I might try and put more visual in, into them. But I've noticed since I, since I got my smartphone, um, which JD and 
John and Chris have encouraged me to do, um, the shorts get get a lot more views. Uh, what you can't do is get them into a particular order. So they get conjured up by YouTube in random orders. And what, 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 I'm, what I'm trying to do is to use them as a guide to the city. So I've done, I've done other ones, which I won't go into at the moment. But let's say, I mean, 58 is too many. Let's say we can select 12, six on the way between the phonic and the innovation hub and six on the way back. Uh, I think p most people could work out what that route was, um, even if you didn't know Exeter very well. So what I'm, what I'm going to suggest to JD is that we 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 just have that we just uh, start with these two locations, and we assume that the the Phoenix Arts Centre is an arts location, and the Innovation Hub because it sometimes has Tech Exeter there for breakfast meetings, is a, a tech centre. So that's the, the locations are an arts one and a techie one, which is actually not, not quite true, because there's quite a lot of tech at the Phoenix, and there's um, quite a lot of art as part of Tech Exeter. They're very, they're very into games. And they also have be the best part of a, rec a recording studio for um, online streaming or podcasting. So they 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 it's not it's not quite right. But at, at least if you start if you start the um, opening scene or the the drawing aside of the curtain to reveal a set, uh, we say that on the set there's a, a an arts bit and a techie bit. And there's movement between the two bits. That's 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 as far as I've got it in mind. So I'll explain that to JD, um, and then we will set off as part of the um, the wild show, which starts at ten. But in the meantime, 